Rangers, and welcome to Ranger Ruby YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'll be going over 10 fun facts about Craters of the Moon National Monument. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. Okay, now starting out with facts number one. Craters of the Moon National Monument is one of two national monuments located in the state of Idaho. Fact number two, Craters of the Moon National Monument was declared a national monument on May 2nd, 1924 by President Calvin Coolidge. Fact number three, the monument preserves around 53,500 acres of volcanic formations and lava flows on the northern rim of Snake River Plain in south central Idaho. Fact number four, Craters of the Moon National Monument is a huge national monument. It covers about 1,100 square miles, which is roughly the size of Rhode Island. Fact number five, the second group of astronauts to walk on the moon visited Craters of the Moon National Monument in 1969. Although they didn't actually train there, they did study volcanic geology. They were able to explore an unusual and harsh environment in preparation for their trip to outer space. Fact number six, local legends made references to the landscape resembling the surface of the moon. Some even referred to the area as the Valley of the Moon. Fact number seven, the young lava flows that make up a bulk of the monument and preserve can clearly be seen from outer space. Fact number eight, because Craters of the Moon National Monument is a higher elevation than the surrounding area, it intercepts the prevailing southwesterly winds. Fact number nine, on July 20th, 1969, Apollo 11 landed on the moon with astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walking on the surface of the moon. About a month later, on August 22nd, several astronauts associated with Apollo 14 mission visited Craters of the Moon National Monument in preparation for their 1971 lunar mission. Fact number 10, astronauts Alan Shepard, Edgar Mitchell, Joe Engel, and Eugene Kernman visited Craters of the Moon National Monument to learn the basics of volcanic geology. Well, everybody, that's the end in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below with your thoughts. I love to hear from you. Also, be sure to click the red subscribe button and the little bell next to it to always know when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you in another video. Bye!